Now, I'm sure you've all heard of ChatGPT, right? Chatbot, whatever. You can do a bunch of stuff with it, whatever. Um, and if you watch my channel, you probably know Pokemon Showdown because I stream it a lot. It's like a Pokemon simulation game, battle game, whatever. Have you ever, has anyone ever battled ChatGPT in Pokemon Showdown now? Because that's what I'm about to do. Gen 1 random battles. I had ChatGPT. Um, I told it what Pokemon it had. Um... What moves that Pokemon had, what other Pokemon I could switch into, what Pokemon I had, what moves I used, how much damage they did. I gave it all the information it could possibly have, and it used those to figure out, you know, what to do. And it did it. And we're going to review it here in Pokemon. This is Gen 1 Ran Battles. Gen 1 Battles. <clears throat> Gen 1 Ran Battles. So I started off with Pidgeot, and uh, ChatGPT got Jolteon. Uh, obviously, it's pretty obvious what to do here, right? Um, you Thunderbolt, because chances are, there's a chance, you use Thunderbolt, you Thunderbolt, right? Like, you're thinking, okay, but what if he switches? He's, he's definitely going to switch, but there's an off chance your opponent doesn't switch. You, you, you Thunderbolt, you Thunderbolt. So, Chad you made the right choice, right? Because chances are your opponent's not going to just have a random ground type. Because in Gen especially in Gen 1, there's like a couple ground, ground types. There's not many ground types. Um, so I use Hyper Beam, and uh, I the... Right to a Thunderbolt, I use Hyper Beam. Pretty good so far. Um, Hyper Beam probably wasn't the right choice. ChatGPT switches to Lapras, which is an interesting, an interesting choice. I wouldn't... It, it's stupid. It's actually a stupid choice, because you could have just killed with Jolteon right there. You could have just Thunderbolt and killed right there. Uh, but instead, he switched to Lapras, which I guess is an okay choice, because you can blend it at least. But any competent Pokemon player would just use Jolteon and kill Pidgeot right there. Because Especially because it has to recharge... From Hyper Beam, because I can't switch. I can't switch. So that was the perfect time to just kill me with uh, what, but whatever. I use Hyper Beam and it misses. Lapras uses Blizzard and misses. I use Hyper Beam again, does half health. Thunderbolt, okay. Killed me eventually. Just, you know, Lapras is a lot more dead than it should be. Um, so I use Swords Dance and then Hyper Beam. Chad should be used Twin Needle, which is an okay choice. I mean, it does a decent amount of damage, as you can see, but. And they switch into Poliwag, which I don't really understand, because Tentacruel had to recharge. So once again, ChatGPT, you could have killed Tentacruel right there. You could have killed Tentacruel right there with another Twin Needle. But no, switch into Poliwag. Okay, all right, I guess. Um, yeah, Poliwag does nothing though. It was talking about stab for some reason. Poliwag just did twelve percent. I don't think Poliwag has stab. Maybe, but I don't think so. Um, yeah, Hyper Beam once again doing a bunch of damage, then switches into Diglett, which is just, um, insane. Um, like, why? Why Diglett? Like, I don't know. Like, Earthquake is, I don't know. It worked, because Earthquake is super effective, so it killed, but I don't know. I just wouldn't expect Diglett. And I used Earthquake, got a critical hit, and Diglett was dead pretty quickly. Switching to Lapras, which is smart. I used Slash, used Blizzard. Yeah, of course. You know, that's that's what you do. That's what you do. You just slash. And I switched into Mr. Mime and Thunderbolt. Killed Lapras. And ChatGPT sent out Coughing. Even though Mr. Mime is a psychic type. With psychic moves. Which are super effective against poison types. And Coughing is a poison type. So I don't really know what ChatGPT was doing there. That doesn't really make any sense. But I'm, su I'm sure ChatGPT has a plan, right? Surely. Right? Okay. Okay, get it poisoned, maybe? No? Well. No, no plan. Okay. Just wasting coughing. You know, okay. Okay, twin needle kill is good. You didn't have to kill coughing to do that, though. Just saying. Coughing could have survived. Also, twin needle against pincers is crazy. Because Beedrill had better moves than that. I don't remember what. Yeah, it had a, like, hyper beam. I think it had um, double slash out of agility. It had way better moves than that. Uh, slash killed, though. Whatever. Then switches into Poliwag with a Surf, which, okay, whatever. I just hyper beam kill. Then all it has left is Jolteon. Chapter is obviously lost at this point, obviously. It does a Thunderbolt, it kills. There's no shot, it survives. Um, it uses Thunderbolt. I don't even know what other attacks Jolteon have, but yeah, it uses Thunderbolt. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Jolteon. Jolteon's dead after that. So yeah, that was me versus ChatGPT. Now, I'm going to try to start a series on my channel where I review 
uh, viewers Pokemon Showdown games. So if you're watching this and you play Pokemon Showdown and you have a really insane game that you played, send it over to me. Uh, I'm about to review one right now. For the first time, I've never seen...